during national festivities whatsoever, mm. they will call all those traditional leaders. They will give them, you know, honors like they have Pardon, to... pardon, pardon. You said the president should recognize the powers no, of no, the no, traditional no. They leaders. Recogni- they do recognize that. They do okay. recognize that the traditional leader has influence over the people. They okay. do know that. Because okay. when you look at the government, they have some kind of benefits they give to the traditional leaders. So are you are saying things? are you saying that we should return like the government power to traditional leaders? Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Okocha, so if I have to jump mm. from what I'm saying, let us put it this way. When you look okay. at the United States, as you guys say, we mm. have the president that mm-hmm. is known to everyone in the world. But mm. behind that president, there are some kind of uh, leaders in the shadow, those yes. who influence the political map of the United States. That and has power to oppose the president. That is it. So when it comes to Africa, we don't have that. We only have the president who's there. If you take that president out, all the plans he had for the nation, for the country, will go along with him. So we don't have those leaders in the background, those who work in the shadow, influencing the leadership of black countries. We don't have that. So who can contribute wow. that kind of leadership in the dark, in the shadow? It is not me and you, you know, we are from the recent generation, but our traditional leaders, those are the people to do that. They are the guardians of the temple. They are there watching over the leaders ideologically and spiritually because the mandate was given to them, you know, by the universal. It was given to them as the guardians of our lands. You see, Hmm. that is why when the white men came, the first thing they did was what? They to to, to fight the power. traditional rulers, to fight mm-hmm. them, they fought them. They have to strip them of that power. So they took that away from them and then came up with some kind of, you know, uh, agreement, whatsoever. We have to create the presidency and vested that power in one person they can control. And they lie to us that whoever wants to lead can be there, provided that they go through the elections. But which elections they're talking about? Because there is no fair and the democratic elections in Africa. Nothing is such happening. That is All right. All of that is rigged. All of that is manipulated. So All the right. president, wherever he's sitting, he knows the influence of the traditional leaders over the power, over the people. Sorry. So if the traditional leader today can stand and say, youth, stand up. I'm talking about the youth is sharing the same values with. They will stand up no matter what. But the moment they don't do that, because they are abiding the law, they want to respect the republic, you know, provided mm. that they give them that bene- those benefits. Uh, they give them cars. They give them, you know, they, they give them benefits, whether you like it or not. Those traditional leaders. The government mm. gives them something. Why? It is the way to shut them out. It's the way to bribe them, I can say. It's the way to keep them quiet while me, the president, I'm leading. But who gave them that? Who gave them that way of uh, giving benefits to the traditional leaders? I don't think that it came from the president. It doesn't come from the black president because that black president himself is not the founder of the presidency. So it came from the worst. Like you have to give some to the traditional leaders to cool them down, to keep them quiet. Meanwhile, we are following our own agenda. That is the purpose right there. Because if the traditional leaders start revolting, then there will be much trouble because the power over our land, it's not in the presidency. It is over our traditional leaders. So, first of all, all we have to say, if that can go a long way, the traditional leaders must come together and start claiming what is belonging to them back to them. Because the presidency has failed. We have enough. We have enough evidence. We have enough evidence. So, if all traditional leaders can come together and start claiming their power of decisions back from the presidency, that will shake the country. That hmm. will shake the country. And if we are not careful enough, some of the traditional leaders can even be arrested. But who can arrest the traditional leader who's having it the is difficult. Of the people who will come together with other traditional leaders, speaking one voice because all traditional leaders will have their powers back to them as in a form of regionalism, in a form of autonomy, in a form of federalism that is not the federalism is in the United States, but a kind of federalism that goes along with our values. You see? So traditional leaders must come together and claim what belongs to them from the presidency, provided that we have